Toyo Drift Australia Series Round 3 comes down to this. The final, ladies and gentlemen. Monaro versus A86. Bo, the show, Yates versus Rock and Robbie Bolger. Kappa versus GCG. These guys are locked and loaded. They've gone through all the other competitors and it happens now. This is where we decided who is going to win. Scott Anderson in the JVC chase car following down there, but we've gone in board. We're in board with the Monaro. You can see the A86 ahead of him. Oh, Robbie's turned in nice and hot. This is going to be a battle. This is going to be a heck of a battle. Once again, the two most opposite cars in the field coming together and generating smoke like you wouldn't believe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice run from both cars as they come on the Doro Slammer all the way around, absolutely wrenching the cars. And as you can see, the little A86 goes in nice and early on the uh, Devil's Elbow here. And here comes the Monaro, comes back at him and looks for a way up the inside, but it's not going to find it because the AE86 is covering his racing line. He sure as hell is. And away they go. Have a look at this. Robbie Bolger leads off racing. Jason, this is going to be a ripper. <laughs> I am pumped, mate, because this is what it's all about. There goes Yatesy. He's soaring away at the steering wheel. Three-wheeling Monaro action into the Toyo Slammer. That is a hell of a drop. But here comes Yates on the inside. Look at he's going on the inside for a pass. Oh! So close there. Oh, and a bit of communication too. Just a little bit of communication. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, Bo Yates not quite coming off the line. Have a look at this. Goes around a little bit. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, the judges aren't going to be really happy with that, I don't think. But Bolger's out in front doing a great job. He certainly is. The Monaro got a better run out of that last corner. In comes a little A86. But what I want to know about is that little bit of communication, mate. What's going on there? Yeah, I think they're talking about uh, coming over to their house for a barbecue or something. And it's another Free one. Run. Oh, mama. Here we go. One more time. And the uh, A86, mate. How much more can we take of this? Well, one more time. Let's see if they can make it happen this time. Let's see if we can get a winner. Oh, Monaro sideways. So is little A86. Snatches back. Good transition through the devil's elbow. Oh, both cars off the edge. of three-wheeling Monaro. Three-wheeling A86. Into the final corner. Nothing to lose from either car. Nothing at all. This one's going to be hard to split. Although Bo Yates fired out of that last corner. How about that? Judges will be happy with that on the replay. Both guys have slid wide because they're just carrying so much speed. And look at that. Robbie Bolger with the wheelie. Oh, you've got to love the three-wheel action. You're only going to see it here at Eastern Creek. And here we go. Final run. Monaro leads out. Up comes A86. Both cars turn in through T1. Heading towards Devil's Elbow. Watch the transition here. There it is. Oh! Oh, nuts. I tell you what, a hell of a lot. Because look at them. They are going nuts, Jeff. Look at this. Nothing in this one either. This one is going to go down to the line again. We could be here till it gets dark. Did you bring your torch? <laughs> I certainly did, mate. And I'm on high beam. Because look at that. Bolger has a look. But did it make it a nice clean run here? You can see from the JVC in car. Bo's going to go nice and conservative here. Bra holds his line. Bolger can't find a way around it. It's good driving That's from the exactly Bo. That's exactly right. Bo, uh, Bo has tried to cover his line as much as possible and make life difficult for Robbie Bolger. That's what he's done, and away we go. Oh, we certainly do. The Monaro's going to fire out here. This is going to sort the men from the boys right here. In goes Yates. He's going to try and stay in touch with him, but the Monaro's open. Oh, he's got an interesting line. He's picked up the inside. Oh, Monaro spins. Oh, the 86 goes off. Bo, oh, manages to hold on to it. And in car footage, Bo's just trying to work his way back out. Oh, Monaro does a bit of a 180. Brings it around, <laughs> Jeff. Mate, I think this is going to be a foregone conclusion. Look, I was going to say that Robbie was flying into that corner a lot faster than I've seen him do all weekend. I think that's what's happened. Robbie's tried a little bit too hard, <laughs> wound on a little bit too much lock, and then whoops a daisy. Can you round it goes 180. You can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third time we've rerun him. You can see there Bo going to the outside, tries to avoid the accident, does so very well, keeps the car in one piece, uh, has a look around it, and the judges score call it as such. Our winner with 13 to 7. Bo the show Yates and Bolger unfortunately has to settle for second which is not bad at all. What a great win by Bo Yates. Daniel Gibson's down there to have a chat to him. The two of us are overdriving at the end. It, it was such close and I know I was certainly overdriving and Bo's just coming the two of us are overdriving. One of us had to go. Mate, that was six gear on the Motec over 200k an hour and it just was never going to work. When you get to the pointy end obviously you need more grip and you need more. The drivers get better. You start going faster and start pushing yourself. It's just... It's a recipe for disaster. G got sloppy there towards the end, three reruns, and the tyres were pretty sad on the second one out, but as Robbie said, we are probably just overdriving a little and just hoping it would end soon and um, <laughs> come through with a win, so it's about time. Just like to thank my sponsors, Peer Industries, GCG Turbos, uh, Tune Agent, and of course, Silverstone Tyres. Thank you.